Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I wanted to talk about the concept of Elliott Wave and Contemporary Wave Analysis. So, in the beginning, it was quite hard for me to figure out what style and what kind of way I wanted to trade. And I tried a lot of things, like, I'm probably sure that most of you have been jumping around and trying this and that and it's how it is in trading until you stumble upon something that actually works and this works for me and it works very well pattern trading and wave analysis based on Elliott wave so let me start here by making some observations some observations that Elliott Wave did and these are like that the market moves in waves market moves in impulses and corrections and market makes distinctive patterns that repeat themselves and this is important and last observation is that markets are fractal in nature that the patterns repeat themselves on all time frame time frames so let's take a look at these observations if we just take a look at euro usd we can see that the way the mar the way nature of the markets are that it's moving in this wave form <laughs> literally the name right and impulses and corrections second observation it thrusts up comes back down and moves up again impulse correction impulse and this is the second observation if we take a look at the third one which is that the market makes these distinctive patterns that repeat themselves let's go to the daily on the daily uh, actually the four hour chart and here we see like if we just take a look again you see how it moves in these waves and we see there's a lot of impulses correction impulse correction impulse impulse correction impulse and distinctive patterns that repeat themselves just take a look these are the patterns that as a wave trader, as a trader who trades patterns, you have to learn to recognize. Because they do repeat themselves. And they do so on all time frames because the market is fractal in nature. You can see that this one here is a 4 hour pattern while these smaller ones you would have been able to identify clearly on the 1 hour. And they do repeat themselves all the time. So, why do these patterns form? You know, this, it's a product of market participants doing transactions and they're based on human nature and psychology. So what do I mean by that? That all these patterns are a reflection of market participants doing transactions and we can read into these patterns and identify what will happen next I don't really like to use the word prediction or forecasting because it creates somewhat of a bias and we as humans we have a tendency to like these biases and only see that and that's a problem in trading therefore it's more correct to say that we identify these moves as they develop so as you are let's say you were trading in this piece you will like make this observation or this analysis that this could be a pattern to go up which i actually called you can see mm, let's go to my profile 
you will use D and here we are this one this one I was looking at this pattern here and it did come up and it's this is like one probable scenario we have to remember that we in trading we deal with probabilities but to get back to why price patterns form it's basically just a, a product of a lot of the big players doing transactions and we can read into that so why do they choose to trade patterns and wave analysis things I liked about it right there's a strong structural edge present with built-in confluence so what do I mean by that strong structural edge these are the patterns that repeat themselves constantly on all time frames and the ability to read them or to yeah to read those are really powerful because let's see here for example if you were able to you you were able to go on a higher time frames and get a directional bias for example looking at this piece here this structure here i'm able to identify that there's a probability that we will come down and create a three wave structure that would continue this impulse and this pattern here is quite likely. Look here. One, one, two, three, up. Because of that um, assessment here on the higher time frame, I now have a directional bias, bias and I can go on the lower time frames and look for cell setups. Right here, right now, actually quite likely a possible cell setup in the making could be a little correction here that would take us down and then we need a strategy to trade this so analysis says that there's a possibility that we will go down so would you just sell it here with a stop here or you know would you wait for a retest then go for the sell or whatever your strategy may be a tactic it's better to use the word tactic actually because our strategy is the long term view to come down but all of this is why I like wave analysis so there is a clear strategy as I just mentioned right There's that it encompasses different confluences so it has building confluence mul multiple time frame analysis the highest probabilistic places to consider a trade where you are wrong in the trade looking at this for instance let's say that you are trading this pattern here and you decided to buy it here in this little flag so where would you be wrong? You'd be wrong down here. Because your expectation is, your analysis is that this is a pattern, this is little flag, and we would go up to break the top. So anything below this is not what you are looking for. And therefore, you have a very clear place of where your stop should be and where you are wrong in the trade. And set up clear if then scenarios and therefore be prepared for price changes and be very adaptable to new changes if then scenarios for instance say we were trading here in this area and let's just do this just for the sake of example so I'm looking at this and we broke the top here and we are in the middle of structure 
So at this point, I have two choices. I would look at it and I would analysis. My analysis would give me two, actually three possible if then scenarios. The first one is running flat, right? That could go up from here, could drop one more, go up here, or we could drop here. Now we could have an expanding flat. That's the second option. The third option would be that this is actually some kind of correction of its own. This was the last impulse and we're gonna come slowly down. So I have three, scenari three scenarios and I will trade accordingly to the structure, to how it develops on the smaller time frames where I use tactics to enter the trades and to exit the trades. So this is basically a very quick, <laughs> a quick uh, rundown of why I like to trade patterns and wave analysis. And yeah, what's the building confluence again? That multiple time frame analysis, right? Building a trade that are based on the higher time frame context, impulse correction. We're trading and looking for impulses and corrections, peaks and throw analysis basically. And market conditions. Are we in a trend? Are we in a correction? This is also something that we know, like if you are here, for example, looking at this piece, you know that this is a, you, you know you're looking for pattern, right? So you also know that you are in a correction and you're not trending anywhere at the moment. You can see that the most recent trend was broken here. And now we have this piece here. And if this is to start trending again, you would expect a trend continuation, you know, above. Wow, there. But for now, knowing patterns is knowing these patterns that repeat themselves is the key and being able to identify and adapt to whatever pattern outcome happens is crucial. And this is something that you have to learn in real time when trading um, and learn to manage. Manage yourself, manage your psychology, manage your mentality because things can move fast and you know, we all know these feelings of FOMO and you, know, you don't want to miss this trade. You see a quick spike and then you get scared and you buy it here because you're thinking that this is a pattern and it will go up. But if you buy it up here, it's already too late. You missed the move because who knows? Like it could decide to do something like that, that, you know, that and then go up and then go. And there's so many ways it can develop it's crucial that you don't let that you learn to manage yourself and you don't jump in to trades that you shouldn't be in have the patience and wait for clear-cut good risk reward setups okay so I'm going to end the video here but if you're interested in knowing more or you know you got anything that you want to ask then comment down and yeah give the video a like and I'll do my best to respond to any comments thank you so much <laughs>